Jacob, whose birthday is it? Danny. It's Danny's birthday. Are we going to have cake? Yeah. Hello, Bookworm family. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Danny. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I am posting tons of extra footage, including this video, which will be a bonus video for this week. And I want you guys to be a part of it. So you have to click the notification bell in order to do that. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to do that. It is at the underscore dancing underscore bookworm. And I post on there full reviews and content. So I'm making this extra vlog this week because it's my birthday week so it's not gonna be my main video this week because the first week of every month I end up doing my wrap-up for the month before so I wanted to make sure that I did that still but I still wanted to record some stuff of my birthday especially having a pandemic birthday this is gonna be a weird birthday but we're gonna get through it and um you know I'm not like super big in like going out and having a party or anything like that. I'd prefer just to stay home and do like something intimate with the family. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but I did order myself lots of birthday goodies because I can. So I did. Um, and my first one came in. So I decided that I was going to film that. But the first thing I got myself was floating bookshelves. So if you guys don't know what these are, they're these like little metal bookshelves. It came with a pack of four. And what you do let me hook a book up to it so you guys can see. But you basically slide a book on so that when the books are hanging from the ceiling, you have a stack of books up there and it looks like they're levitating. So my plan for this is eventually when I paint my walls to have these up and then put Wingardium Leviosa next to them. So I'm going to hang those up a little later today and you guys can see what they look like when they're done. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I am currently finishing this like in the next two days. Uh, Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. Um, I actually should finish this one tonight. There's only like 100 pages left. And A Little Women on audiobook. So I'm going to do those. And then my March reading will be done. And if you guys haven't seen my April TBR yet, you don't know the suffering. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. So basically, TBR raffle was a jerk to me, and I have 12 books to read in the month of April. If you guys have not seen that video yet, I will link it up here or I'll link it down below so you guys can click on that and see. But it is going to be a rough reading month. However, it doesn't look like my work is getting back into session anytime soon, other than doing on our, our online classes. So, you know. Who knows? Who knows what it'll look like? But I have some big chunky books. So I think after I finish Nevermore and finish Little Women and my March reading is done, I'm going to get a jump start on my April books and start reading a few chapters from each book so that I'm not reading them completely in April and most of the reading will be done in the month of April. But starting them will give me just that little bit of a jump start, which is what I need right now. So that's my plan for this week, along with getting some birthday goodies and doing like a little mini birthday celebration at my house. Um, the only thing that kind of stinks is my best friend and I usually go out for our birthdays at some point um, because our birthdays are only two weeks apart and we're not going to be able to do that right now. So we're gonna have to do that at some point after all this is over. But yeah, that, that's kind of the stinky part. So that's a bummer. But I do have my birthday off from babysitting and my birthday off from teaching online classes. So that day is going to be a full day devoted to reading and just fun time with the fam. So that's my plans for this week. Right now I've got to finish posting my TBR raffle video and then I have to cut some music for my boss. And after that, I'm just gonna read for the rest of the day and hang up these shelves. original plan for today was just to have a relaxing day and chill and read. However, I realized I only have to work an hour and a half with my online classes tomorrow. 
not even. I think it's like an hour and 15 minutes. Um, so I decided that I was going to do some room decorating since I kind of have a chill day tomorrow. So I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my other videos, but right now my I'm watching my two nieces and nephew during the day because their parents have to still work online and I'm doing their homeschooling and stuff. So Monday through Thursday this week I'm doing that and then Friday because it's my birthday I don't have to do that. They're going to take one of them's going to take the day off kind of thing. So I'm going to be doing that Monday through Thursday. So I'll record a little bit of how I'm like doing like their homeschooling and stuff, but they're still pretty young. So it doesn't make like that big of a difference, like how I teach them as long as they're still learning. Um, but yeah, I decided that since I have that tomorrow and since I have a short teaching day, I can pretty much do a lot of reading because, um, when they have rest time and stuff, I read. And then when my classes are over, I read. So I was like, well, I'll enjoy having a full day off to just kind of do my own thing. So I decided that I was going to paint. Um, so my plan is, I will show you. And so I wrote Wingardium Leviosa on the wall. I don't super love how Leviosa came out, but it's going to be covered up because I'm going to have right here is going to be like a Harry Potter wand and then fairy lights are going to come out and like surround some of the letters so it looks like the wand is shooting up the spells and then I have the floating shelves there and then my TV is kind of like floating and then like the papers are kind of floating so it kind of makes it look like everything is levitating um so the fact that Leviosa doesn't look super amazing isn't that big of a deal I do really like how Wingardium came out it's just Leviosa I think my arm got tired so things started getting bigger but it's not the end of the world. Plus, I am not a perfect person, so my room is not expected to be a perfect piece of art. Um, and then over on this side, I put TBR, and the items on that floating shelf right there are the um, books that I'm reading in the upcoming month. So that's my April, April TBR right there. So... So once the fairy lights go in, it'll look a little bit better. The TBR is not going to have fairy lights. That's just going to stay looking like what it looks like right now. But once the fairy lights go in, it'll look a little better. However, I set a paint can down on my floor. And my brother told me to put a towel down. And I thought he meant, like, in case the paint dripped. I didn't realize he meant put it under the paint bucket. So I put it on my floor. So... I don't know if you guys can see it. I have done a pretty good job of cleaning it up, but I got like a ton of paint on the floor. From setting the paint can down, you guys can see like the blue everywhere. It's pretty bad. Um, it's, it's better than what it was. I mean, you definitely can't see it as bad anymore. I also put brand new lighting in today too. So the light right here is the light that I had at my old house, but then up here I put three bright bulbs in so that I have more light for when I'm filming because it was so dark. So I feel like you can see the paint smudges more because of the light that I put in here. However, um, the carpet's going to get redone eventually anyway. So I just have like a little blue blue tint to mine right now and my mom for my birthday let me pick out. I wanted like some form of like reading nook chair for over in that area. So we found like this really comfy like chair that you can lean back on and stuff and it's supposed to have like neck support and stuff which is cool so I would have put that where the biggest stain is guys it was more more work than I was ready to do today I thought I'd be able to do like Wingardium Leviosa and Beautiful Cursive and have it be done but the floating shelves involved drilling and then the drilling got everywhere then I set the paint can down and honestly the painting probably could have been done and looked better in like a half an hour's time but because I had like scrubbed the carpet my arm was already tired it ended up being a little bit of a disaster I do like how it came out for the most part because I think once the fairy lights go out and the wand gets put up it's gonna look like it's shooting out of the wand which is what I want so it's just kind of all that'll be done by the end of this vlog so you guys can kind of see how that looks the TBR I don't mind it looks good with all the books there and stuff but I was just trying to add some finishing touches to my room to make it look more me and it does look more me because there are some flaws in it now <laughs> so I guess that's that's me um but yeah that's 
that's that for right now. Um, so I'm going to, I did listen to about six hours worth of Little Women. I had already listened to four hours before that, and there's still five hours left in it. It is a long, long book. I have read the paperback version a couple different times. Joe is probably my all-time favorite literary character of all time. Like, I love Joe, and I love how she's portrayed, and I've, like, been able to relate to Joe since the first time I read it. So I love Little Women, but I decided just to listen to it on audiobook just for kind of like a palate cleanse, like something that I've read before, something that I can just have playing in the background, which works great. However, I forgot how long it is, but I don't think it'll be a problem. I think I'll definitely be able to have it finished by the end of the month because there's still two days left, two days left of the month, and I only have five hours left in the book, so. And I also have to finish Nevermore. But never more, I only have 100 pages left, if that. But tomorrow, I will check in with you guys. I'm doing the homeschooling, and then I have to do the online classes. I also, like, I don't just homeschool my niece and nephew. We also do other stuff throughout the day. Because I feel like if I had to homeschool them for, like, five hours a day, none of us would be happy. So, like, we do, like, engaging learning stuff throughout the day but only sit at the table for maybe like two hours with actual packets and work and stuff. And I feel like that's working for us right now. And my niece does it longer than my nephew because my nephew's only in pre-K. So his isn't that big of work to do, but she's in first grade. So hers is a little bit more, but yeah. So I will film a little bit of that probably this week. I will film as my room gets put together, as my beautiful presents come in, and yeah. <laughs> Ava and Jacob are doing their homeschooling. We are working on mermaid math. Can I see yours? What's yours look like? Ooh, mermaid math. And then what's Ava's look like? Is it hard, Ava, or easy? Easy. Easy. I didn't realize that I made so many blue spots. Mermaid. I must really have liked blue today. However, oh, you want you want to say hi? Hi. However, whilst we were doing our homeschooling. Having a swimmingly swell day, our dog got out of the fenced in yard, got completely muddy, and she needed a bath, Emma. Say, say I'm ashamed. Say I'm ashamed, Emma. So now she's fluffy and wet and mad at me. So this is this is the start of our day. Happy birth week to me. Happy birth week to me. Daddy. Okay, so today was a really long one with the kids. Ava was like super sassy, like just talking back a ton, which is like probably my biggest pet peeve of all the things the kids do is like, I hate when they just straight up choose not to listen. Like, it's not like they didn't hear me. They're choosing actively to not behave, which is stressful. Um, but then if, or Jacob and Riley were pretty good. Um, just the dog situation was crazy because I had to like go find her outside, bring her upstairs, give her a bath. It cut into all the homeschooling time. So by the time I got downstairs, grandma had done some of the homeschooling and, you know, grandma's fun and like she'd kind of just let them color on their papers and not really do the things they needed to do because that's like what grandmas do, which is fine. But they didn't want to get refocused, so it was just a stressful day. Now I have to teach an hour and 15 minutes on Zoom, so not too bad. Mondays are usually my short day, so I don't hate it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I'm probably going to like take a shower, eat, and nap, because I'm just <sighs> right there, man. But yeah, so I'm going to teach a little bit online and just see how that goes. 
So I just finished filming my online classes and I have a box here full of goodies that I ordered myself for my birthday. So the very first thing in here is these beautiful bookends, which I have not owned bookends before. Um, I'm going to actually turn it this way because I think this is the way that I will display it. Um, but I have not actually owned bookends before, but I need them because of something else that's in this box. So I needed them to kind of match my Harry Potter motif up here. So we've got the uh, pen and ink, the like quill and ink, with, like a little letter on it. And we've got the candle and there's like a little um, perfume-ish bottle back here or something, whatever you would use that for. Perfume. It looks like a perfume bottle. I don't actually know what it is. Um, but they just kind of look like old classic books. And they're just bookends for something that else that is in this box. So in this box is just a bunch of books. So first thing on here is... Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Uh, this book is a super famous popular book. It's won tons of awards, as you can see. Um, and it is about a girl, like a young girl growing up in the 1960s and 90s, 1970s, and she's black, and she is um, kind of going through all the struggles of, like, becoming, like, integrated into schools and, like, segregation and all the stuff that kind of happened in the U.S. during that time. It's also written in poetry format. Um, I decided to pick this one up because the book that I read in February, Breakout, referenced this book a lot and I had never actually read it, but I've read other books by Jacqueline Woodson and I've enjoyed them, so I thought I'd give this one a go. Obviously, it will not be on my April TBR because my April TBR, TBR is crazy right now, but it will be on hopefully my May one because it is one that I want to get to soon. Next, I have Refugee by Alan Gratz, which if you guys saw my um, April TBR, you know that this is my book that my friend picked for me from my text-a-friend. Um, and this is about three different people in three different time periods. So one is from 1930s Nazi Germany, another one is from 1994 uh, Cuba, and another one is from 2015 Syria. And they are all trying to um, flee their countries and escape. Um, this is one that she picked because she read it. She fell in love with it. I kind of know what happens in it because she kind of spoiled it for me. But overall, I'm excited to read it. So this is going to go over on my TBR shelf. So then I got this for my niece. Um, this is Brain Quest ages 6 to 7 grade 1. This is just like a little like trivia cards. Um, I just thought it'd be a good way to switch up our homeschooling a little bit and do it more like a game than anything because right now we're just kind of in a slump. It's been rough. Been rough couple weeks and she's getting bored so I thought this would be a fun little way to twist it up. Um, but it's got 750 questions and answers to challenge the mind is what it says. Um, then I get to the really exciting part. So I bought, so there was a sale, buy two, get one, three, get one free. And so I acted, um, but I got the illustrated editions of Harry Potter books one through four because that's all that they have out so far. But I've wanted these for so long because I've heard nothing but amazing things. But they are gigantic Harry Potter books <laughs> with these beautiful illustrations all done throughout them. And I am just, I am so excited for these. So this is the Sorcerer's Stone. Then we have um, Chamber of Secrets which has the flying car on it. Then we have Prisoner of Azkaban, which this is, I think this is my favorite cover. I love the night bus and I love the color of this book. It's just so beautiful and it goes so well in my room. And then I have Goblet of Fire. Um, so I got all four of them because that's all that they have out right now. I am probably gonna pre-order book five while I have a little extra money right now. I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So this is what I got the bookends for because my original plan was to have them <laughs> sitting up on the top of my shelf and then have the bookends, but I didn't realize how dang heavy they are. So I don't know if the bookends are going to do anything. Um, if not, I'll use the bookends for something else, but I might have to find a different way to display these, but they are just absolutely gorgeous and I'm in love with them and I'm so excited to kind of flip through the pictures. I'm not going to reread Harry Potter this year because I reread it last year. Try not to reread it every year because then it loses its magic. Um, but I, I will probably flip through the illustrations and just look at them. They're just so pretty. 
they're just so pretty uh but yeah so that's what i have in that little mini unhaul there will be more unhauls in this video to come so i put the back book ends over on my desk where i keep the books that I'm currently reading. So I usually am reading about two or three books at a time and I usually just throw them on my desk so I thought this would be a nice way to make them look neater. And then over here I put the illustrated editions of Harry Potter because the book stamps didn't hold them up so like my regular editions are up there and then I have like Cursed Child Unofficial Spell Book. There's all the illustrated editions now, and then I have the Fantastic Beasts and Crimes of Grindelwald. I cannot wait till the rest of the illustrated editions get released because they are just gorgeous. So I just wanted to pop on and say that I finished Nevermore, and I also finished Little Women. So those are done. So I've completed all my mar March reads. Nevermore ended up being a five star for me. It was like a low five star, but a five star. Um, I really loved the plot twist at the end. However, some of this stuff was a little predictable, but for the most part, I really enjoyed it. And I don't know, like, I think that people compare it to Harry Potter a lot. So I think like going into it, I wanted it to be more Harry Potter-esque because I didn't like at the very beginning, I saw some similarities, but towards the end, I was like, no, this is nothing like Harry Potter. So yeah, um, and then Little Women I've read multiple times, but if you guys don't know what that's about, it's about four young girls uh, living in the time of the Civil War in Connecticut, and they are being watched over by their mother, and they're kind of just starting their lives, like, with love and marriage and stuff, and one of the sisters is really sickly, um, another one is really strong-willed, another one is, like, very, very, like, prim and proper, and then the oldest is kind of, like, she just wants to fulfill the same, like, motherly duty that she's supposed to, kind of like her mom. Um, my favorite character from it is Jo. She's my favorite fictional character of any book. Um, I love that she was beyond her time. I think Louisa May Alcott really put herself into the character of Jo because, like, you can just tell that, like, that was not what was acceptable at the time. And I really love Jo. I just love Jo. I, like, I love that she's a tomboy. I love that she does things her own way. And, you know, people always think like, oh, this is going to turn out bad. But she always ends up pulling it out at the end. Um, so yeah, so I finished those two books and my March reading is done. And it is officially April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. I hate April Fool's Day. It's my least favorite day of the year. I hate pranks. I hate pranks. I hate when people jump out and scare me. It's all, it's all my least favorite. So, but I have an early morning with the children tomorrow. So I'm going to start, I have to edit a video, but then I'm going to go to sleep. And that's, that's about that. That's all I have left for the end of March. And we're moving on. Moving on into April. Hello, so it is Wednesday. I didn't vlog much today. Um, well, no, that's not true. I did vlog, and I'm gonna put it in here. However, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I, well, I did some B-roll stuff of my nephew and my niece doing schoolwork and stuff. You guys can kind of see that. Um, but also I tried to do an unboxing video with them for Walt Life subscription box and it kind of turned out to be a hot mess because they were just really excited to have Disney stuff. So I'm going to explain Walt Life right now and then I'll just kind of include that instead of making it a separate video. I'm just going to put it in this video because they ripped through that box real quick. <laughs> so if you don't know what Walt Life is, it's a subscription box that sends stuff from the Disney theme parks and other Disney related products and stuff. Um, and basically there's a whole bunch of different subscription boxes you can do. We did the classic and what you get in the classic is you get one exclusive theme park item, but then you also get like other random Disney items too that you could get pretty much anywhere, but there's one exclusive item. Um, and yeah, I got that for them because they were supposed to go to Disney World Friday and obviously their trip got canceled. So they're going to reschedule it for over the summer when things open up again, but they were really disappointed. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do this. They were so excited. I'm just going to insert the clip and you guys can see. I have two little special helpers with me today. Who are you? Ava. Who are you? Jacob. These are my, this is my niece and nephew, Ava and Jacob, and I'm Danny, yep, and we have an unboxing for you guys today. We are going to be unboxing the Walt Life box, so they have no idea what's in here. I'm surprising them. 
They have no idea. So what the Walt Life box is, are you ready to find out what this is? This is items from the Disney theme park. So Walt Disney World and other places. And this has items in it for all age groups in girls and boys. And I will link down below where you can get this box and how much it is because they have multiple different box sizes. But we got the classic box. So are you ready? Let's open it up. So when we first open it up, this is what we see inside. All right, we've got a letter. Let's open up the letter first. Ready? Let's Welcome see what it says. Welcome to the Walt Life family. Oh. You just joined and, and... You just joined an exclusive... An exclusive to her... Disney fan club. Okay, we don't have to read the whole thing, but that's good. Okay. All right, and then look who it came with a picture of. <gasps> Who's that? Belle! Wait, do you know where Belle is? She's in Disney World. She sent you a picture from Disney World. Who's Belle's favorite? Who's, who's, who's favorite is Belle? Me, I love Belle. Maybe All that's All right, why. here we go. Oh, there's our first item. Do you know who that is? That is the bunny from... Ralph Breaks the Internet. Turn it around so the camera can see. It's the Pancake Bunny from Ralph Breaks the Internet. At the end of the movie, they go, Pancakes, milkshake, pancakes, milkshake. The bunny gets the pancake. Let's see what else. All right, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, there's some sneaky things. A pin. Ooh, what's on the pin? Let's look at it. Mickey Mouse. We got a Mickey Mouse pin. How cool. Jacob, who's that? Who's on the pin? Who's that? Ma. Mickey Mouse. You can see. Oh, can you go on your knees, babe, so we can see your face, honey? Yes. I want to pick what's next. Oh. Ready? Yes. Pull it out. Whoa, who's that? What's this? It's the Pixar ball pen. So hold it up so everyone can see. It's like the ball that's in all the Pixar movies. And it's a pen. Oh, how very exciting. All right, let's see what's next. What's this? Read the back. What does the back say? Come down on your knees so we can see you. Collect all eight white Walt Life coins and win a trip for two, for two to Disney World. Oh, so if you collect them, you can enter to win a trip to Disney World. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, All right, let's see what's next. Eight. <gasps> Guess what it is. This is so exciting because show everybody, go down by the camera and show everybody what you got done for your birthday. Point to your ears. Did you get your ears pierced for your birthday? Yeah. Guess what's in here? <gasps> New earrings. They're Mulan earrings from Mulan. Can you hold them up and show the camera? Wow, look at those, they're so pretty. Oh, I love the flower one. Don't you love that one? Yeah, I wanna see. Okay, you wanna see what else is in here? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. There's only a couple more things in here. All right, this one is for Jacob. Jacob, look it, what's this? Who's that? Yeah, Sissy's got all the stuff out. Yep, no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, who's this? Do you know? He's so pretty. It's Mater. It's a Mater postcard. So you can write a letter to someone and send it to them. Who will you write a letter to? Mommy. Mommy? All right, and this one's for Ava. That's a little girl. It's. It must be from a Pixar short. Can you hold it up? Who are you going to write your letter to, Ava? Page. Page. All right, and this one is for Aunt Danny. This is Aunt Danny's because this is a bookmark with Captain Hook on it, and Danny gets the bookmark. What did you think? At the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. Look, there's a port. Hole. What did we learn about yesterday? A port holes, and there's a port hole at the bottom. Look at that. That's so cool. What did you guys think of this box? Did you like it? Yeah. Is it a thumbs up? Yeah. Yeah, thumbs up. Oh, there's so many cool things.
Anyway, so basically, if you want that subscription box, I will put the link down below so you guys can have all the information. But yeah, they really enjoyed that box. So it was a good, it was a good pick. Um, but other than that, I taught classes today. The kids were really good today. We just kind of hung out. Um, we did sand surf and sun day for our learning theme. I've been trying to theme every day. Um, and we did like these little like crafts where they made beaches out of paper plates that I'll put over here somewhere. You can kind of see them working on it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to theme every day just because my niece does better with that. Like she likes to know, like if she has a theme, then she can dress for the theme. She can do her hair for the theme. She can like eat food that goes along with the theme. She can watch a show that goes along with the theme. And so if she has that theme in her mind, she's a very like organized kid so she likes things done to the t so if i just kind of say oh there's no real theme for today she throws a tantrum over what her hair is going to look like she throws a tantrum over what her outfit is she freaks out about what the order is what the planet so if i just theme things and order things and plan things to the t she is fine my nephew is super go with the flow for the most part i mean he definitely throws tantrums if he doesn't want to do the activity that we're doing but for the most part like he'll do it as long as his sister does it with him and the baby's too young to care so Really, it's more for my niece's benefit, but she needs those themes. So we did Sand, Sun, and Surf today, and they had a blast. Um, the craft came out really cute. We did, for science, we made kitty cocktails because, I mean, gotta have fun with science, right? So they had to measure out the liquids and stuff and add the cherry and stuff, and they just made, like, little, like, ginger ale and juice. I don't know if that has a name, but that's what it was. Um, but yeah, they had fun today, and they were really good. I taught classes. My laptop, my laptop, I thought my laptop was smoking because there's this really, like, potent smell, and, like, it felt warm because I was using it, so I, I thought it was smoking, and, like, all of a sudden my room started getting, like, this, like, fogginess to it. Like, I don't know. So I thought my, I thought my laptop was smoking. I go out of my room and realized that the smell is worse outside my room, and I was like, okay, that's weird. I go downstairs, my mom is trying to self-clean the oven. So if you don't know what self-cleaning the oven is, it's basically like a button that you hit on the oven and it starts cleaning itself where it like burns all the stuff and gunk and junk in the oven and it is the worst smell. Honestly, I thought my laptop was smoking. We're like, why would you do this while we're in the house? We are quarantined to this house. Why would you make it smell this bad? Um, so yeah, so we did that. Um, it was just kind of funny because I really thought my laptop was smoking. So I like hung up from one of my dance classes and like signed in on my phone. And like, it was just crazy. It was just crazy because I was like, oh my gosh, guys, I have to go. Like, I think my laptop's smoking. And then I like jumped back in and I was like, I don't know if it's my laptop, but it really smelled like my laptop was smoking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it was my mom self-cleaning the oven. Yep. So that was my time teaching but then my mom is super grumpy because she's on all these antibiotics right now so she ordered a pizza at nine o'clock and she was like I'm eating the pizza I'm like can I eat the pizza my candy fell <laughs> but I was like can I eat the pizza she's like sure eat the pizza so really I had a day where everything was kind of pushed off and I kind of hung out and ate pizza and stuff. So then I got really behind my schedule of posting reading challenge videos and stuff like that. So today has just been kind of playing catch up with all the stuff that I was supposed to do earlier that I didn't end up doing. But I did get one of my birthday presents. My birthday present from my mom came today. I also went to the grocery store for the first time since quarantine. I don't know if people think they can outrun the virus, but I had somebody body check me because she was running through the aisles. And I was like, she's like, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay, like I get like people are freaked out, but you can't outrun the virus. It's airborne. So running does nothing. Anyway, I was like, you just infected me more by body checking me than if you just walked like a normal human being past me. I don't know. That was annoying. But anyway, so I did get one of my birthday presents. It's my birthday present from my mom. I'm in love with it. But basically, I told you guys over the reason that I was painting and redoing like how my bookshelves and stuff are organized, I want to make a reading nook over there because the only furniture that I have in my room is my bed. And my bed is a king size, so it takes up a lot of my room, which is great. But I really wanted like another space to read. 
Um, so I just wanted, like, in case, like, you know, like, in the summer it gets hot and if you sit in your bed all day, then when you go, like, to sleep in your bed at night, it's extra hot because you've already been in it all day. Like, the sheets aren't cool or anything. So I just wanted something that, like, I could kind of, like, separate myself from my bed. Plus, I read that, like, you sleep worse if you hang out in your bed all day. So I am starting a reading nook and it should be finished by the end of this week. But you guys saw the painting that I did already of the Wingardium Leviosa. I'm still waiting for the rest of that stuff to come in. But my mom got me this gray pillow, which is kind of like a body pillow that you're supposed to use in your bed to like prop up your head kind of thing. However, I'm going to use it for over here. And then I'm going to take these two blue pillows, have pillowcases that have book related things written on them. And I'm going to lay down some blankets, which are over here. I'm going to wash them and the bookcase, or the, not bookcases, the pillowcases right there. But I'm going to wash all that. And then I'm going to set this up, like, kind of, like, in that corner. And just make, like, a little reading nook relaxing area to just kind of hang out. It's right by my window, so I can, like, have the window open on nice days and stuff like that. I just think it's going to be cute. So I'm just excited for how it's going to look. I think it's going to be really cute. And I don't know. That's kind of, like what I'm doing for my birthday is just kind of building myself this little reading area. I'm happy about it. But now I have to edit one of the videos for tomorrow to be posted. It is my True Confessions Reading Club video. Um, and I learned the hard way that I definitely need to edit those the night before because mine got posted wicked late today because today I do two of them. I do Junie B. Jones and Inside Out and Back Again on Wednesdays. Um, and Next week is the last week of it, but I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I just got so behind in things today because there was pizza. I wanted the pizza. So, yeah. But I'm going to edit the video for True Confession so I can post that right away. And tomorrow is my last day of babysitting and working for the week because I took my birthday off. Because I just wanted a day to chill and kind of have some me time. Got myself a couple little, like spa-ish things like little face mask and like some um bath salts just just some stuff to relax but that's what I plan to do I am bummed um uh, my mom and I found out that our cruise that we were supposed to go on on June 25th which is forever away got canceled and I thought that was kind of ridiculous because I don't know June 25th still seems like so far away like if all this stuff is still going on in June I'm gonna lose my mind <laughs> just just gonna lose my mind. Um, but yeah, they did cancel it. So we could either do a refund or we could rebook. So we ended up rebooking for October. So we're not going on a cruise in June. This is the second time we've canceled our cruise. I mean, the first time was because my dad died. So that's like a pretty legit reason. And now there's a pandemic. So that's also a pretty legit reason. So yeah, so we've gone through two cruises now that we have not gone on. So we have one for October planned, but we are gonna go do something soon. Like as soon as we can leave, and like be safe, I think we're gonna go to like stay at a casino overnight or something like that because we just need, we just need a little, little break. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off because the baby's crying and I want to make sure I'm not keeping her up. Bye. Hello. So today was Thursday. I didn't even know. Oh my gosh, that's the kind of life it is right now. But today was Thursday. We had a good day. The kids and I had a kind of like aquarium and fish and just kind of a fun day um, for our theme today and pretty much babysat. I didn't teach my last class, but no one showed up anyway, so it was okay online. But I have been in birthday mode ever since. So all my stuff for my reading nook came in. So I'm going to show you guys that. So up here is what I was telling you guys about with the fairy lights and it shoots out of Harry's wand. So the wand goes and then the fairy lights go to make Wingardium Leviosa shine. And then down here is my little reading nook that I made. I love it so much. I just like, I know that it looks kind of tacky having the blanket out like that. I don't know if I'll leave the blanket out like that, but I'm about to go read in it. But just get to lean against the pillow, snuggle up with the blanket, have like a nice little cozy reading place other than my bed. I am in love with it. I love the pillow and I love that my fairy lights are right above it. I just, it makes me so happy because my books are right there and everything is just wonderful. Just wonderful with my little reading nook. 
So I also just finished up my March wrap up video, which ended up being like 30 minutes long because I read so much in March, which I'm not complaining about. But I am going to call my best friend in a minute because she wants to chat for a little bit. And then I'm going to finish up my reading journal for the month of March and watch some TV because last night I also got my Amazon Fire Stick came in. So I now have TV in my room. So I don't normally watch TV, but... Every once in a while, you just gotta turn something on, and I like to have something on in the background while I do my reading journal anyway, so. But I'm so, I just keep looking over at my reading nook, and I'm just so happy. It's just like a nice little cozy place. Um, I did start reading The Help um, by Catherine Stockett, I think that's who wrote it. Um, but I am listening to it on audiobook. Audiobook, I think, is the way to go for this one, because otherwise I would have to read all the southern language and stuff, and I don't know. I just, it probably wouldn't hold my interest, but the way that the audiobook is being read, there are, um, I don't know if there's multiple people reading it or if the girl's just really good at voice acting. I have to look it up, but so far it's pretty, pretty good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and then my TBR up there this weekend, my goal is to read Sarah Plain and Tall, Refugee, and Peace Locomotion. I want to read all three of those and I have to start The Running Dream because my friend and I are doing a buddy read. So I have four books, um, but I have three days off. I'm not babysitting tomorrow and I'm not teaching my online classes because I'm going to enjoy my birthday. And then Saturday and Sunday, obviously we have nothing because nobody's doing anything right now, but I don't have anything around the house to do either because I did it all today. So I get to just enjoy my reading nook and snuggle up the books and read all weekend. And I'm really excited about it. Jacob, whose birthday is it? Danny. It's Danny's birthday. Are we going to have cake? Yeah. Are we going to have chicken? Yeah. Well, we are. So it is my birthday. Oh, my hair is crazy. I'm about to go take a shower and wash my hair. But it is my birthday. Jacob and I are hanging out in the reading nook. He's playing with my stuffies. Who do you got? You got Pigeon? Pigeon and Narwhal and Angelica? But he's hanging out, he's playing. I'm gonna go take a shower while he hangs out in my room for a few minutes. Um, and then we're gonna have my birthday dinner. I requested chicken tenders from Tully's, which is a local restaurant. Uh, you wanna play with the train? You like the Hogwarts Express? This is gonna be my Harry Potter kid. Out of all of my nieces and nephew, this is gonna be my Harry Potter kid. Um, but if you guys don't know, I am not a vegetarian anymore. Um, kind of had like a little emotional breakdown over chicken. Um, so I am not a vegetarian anymore, which I'm okay with. That's a notebook. Are you gonna color me a picture? Yeah, do you wanna use my coloring book? I have a coloring book, look. Look okay. it. You want to color on there? Okay. Um, but anyway, we are just hanging out and we are going to oh, oh, oh. celebrate my birthday after I get out of the shower and after my brother gets the food. Look, Jakey, colored pencils. Here you go. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Um, I have, I am on chapter nine of The Help, listening to it on audiobook, and I have not started any other book yet because I'm finishing up my March wrap-ups, but kind of taking my time with them today so I can enjoy my birthday and my little dude. Jacob, what are you going to color me? Hey. Oh, look at those. Keep a kiss. Mwah. Good job. <laughs> finished my birthday dinner. We had Tully's tenders and chicken wing dip and mozzarella sticks and I feel like there was other stuff but I don't remember. Then we had ice cream cake and it was delicious and I loved every second about it. Her in law and brother got me an Amazon gift card which was super nice. Um, my mom got me the pillow for my reading nook that you guys already saw. My nieces and nephew made me cards. My niece made me this one. It's so cute. And then my nephew made me this one <laughs> um, and his mom helped him cut out some hearts 
on the inside. Um, so yeah, so they did that. Uh, my best friend sent me a thrift books gift card, which I'm going to go on in a little bit. But I am on chapter, I'm still on chapter nine, but part four. I'm on part four, chapter nine of The Help, but there's still 13 hours left in it, and I only have the book loan for eight more days, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem getting through it, because I think I've listened to three hours worth of it already today, and that's been very intermittent listening, so I think I'll be okay, but that's like a short time. I don't know. Audiobooks, I usually spend like the entire month listening to an audiobook, so just because I only listen to it sometimes, like when I'm not reading or like doing something that involves sound, which is a lot of my life. Um, but I am going to finish up my wrap up for March. Then I'm going to start reading. I think I'm going to do Sarah Plain and Tall first because it is only 64 pages, I think. So I think I'm going to do this one first and just kind of cuddle up in my reading nook and plow through this one really quick. But then I did promise my best friend that my first book that I would read this month is Refugee. But on top of that, I also have to read part one of The Running Dream so that we can have our book discussion because her and I are doing the buddy read. So I probably will do Sarah Plain and Tall and start Refugee tonight and then go through all of part one of The Running Dream tomorrow and hopefully wrap up Refugee tomorrow or Sunday is my goal. The writing in it's pretty big, so I shouldn't have a hard time getting through it. But those are my plans for the night. I will check in with you guys a little later. <laughs> Okay, so I just spent some time reading in my little book nook that I love so much. Um, I did finish Sarah Plain and Tall. Obviously, it was like a sit down and read in one session kind of thing. Um, it ended up being like 68 pages, I think, maybe a little shy of that. Um, it was okay. I gave it two stars. It wasn't anything fantastic. I think I had to read it in fourth grade. Like, I know I've read it before. I think it was fourth grade just didn't do anything for me. Just kind of like there was no like I'm not like a huge world building person, but like there was like no world building. Like I know where Sarah was from, but don't really know where this book takes place. I just know where she came from. Um if you don't know what this book is about, basically the father of two kids, Anna and Caleb, put puts an ad out looking for a wife to come live with them back in like Little House on the Prairie times. Um, and so Sarah comes and kind of becomes their mother, but she's only staying for a month. So they have a month to convince her that she wants to stay instead of going back to Maine where she's from. And Sarah really misses the sea and her brother and her aunts. Um, so she doesn't super want to stay, but the kids are trying to get them, get her to fall in love with them kind of thing. Um, yeah, it was just one of those meh, meh, didn't do anything for me. I am 10 hours into the help and I will say I'm actually really enjoying it. I did not expect to like this book. Like it just didn't seem like something I would super enjoy and I'm not a big historical fiction fan, especially historical adult fiction, just because it's so long and it's so much like it's usually just so much but I do really enjoy the characters and I actually like I'm listening to it on audiobook the reader is kind of making it for me but I also really enjoy just like the dialogue and like I don't know like I'm glad it's not like going ad nauseum about like oh it's this time period and this 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 and this is happening like it's little specks of that throughout the book like okay Martin Luther King is staging a walk or a march and uh the women can now sit anywhere on the bus because Rosa Parks or like uh the women that the book surrounds like but black people can sit anywhere they want on the bus because of Rosa Parks um I don't it's just like little tidbits of history but it's not like oh you have to know all this history let me shove it in your face it's kind of just like uh we know you know what happened 
so here's the story. <laughs> and I like that instead of being like history, 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 hit, which is the problem that I have with historical fiction books. I am about to start Refugee, which is also historical fiction. Um, so I am interested to see how I like this one. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I just don't like books that are like, here's the history, here's all the facts, here's the timeline. Like, I like what The Help is doing where like, it'll casually mention like Martin Luther King or like casually mention Rosa Parks, stuff like that. Like, it doesn't like, be like, here's the facts. I don't know. I don't know. I think mostly YA in middle grade historical fiction does that, which is why I'm nervous for Refugee, but it is my best friend's favorite book. I feel like I want to like it because she loves it so much and I'm worried that I'm not going to because the last book that she really really enjoyed I didn't so I don't know I don't know hopefully I will but I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because there's only an hour left of my birthday and um I'm gonna post more these next upcoming weeks because we know that we are out of school at least until April 15th in central New York so I don't know what that looks like for the rest of the states. I know some states have just closed their schools down, but it looks like it's probably even going to be longer than that. They're just still stay saying April 15th, but I don't think we're going to be. They're actually like decreasing how many people can go to grocery stores right now. So don't think they're decreasing grocery stores and then going to be like, oh, but you can go back to school. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to just wrap this up here. Um, and I have lots of vlogs coming for you guys and random videos. I have some unboxings. I have, um, I don't even know. What else do I have? I have unboxings. I have other vlogs that I'm going to do. Oh, I have a, um, books with a deadline coming up, which is going to be an interesting one. And on Sunday, which is tomorrow, once you guys are seeing this, um, I will be posting my March wrap up. So that is a very long <laughs> video that I hope you guys enjoy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the birthday wishes for those who sent it to me on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And I really did have a great birthday. I am happy with how it turned out despite the world outside of us. It's been a pretty good time. I've, I enjoyed a nice snuggly reading day and that's what I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Wasn't that a great video? Clearly books make me very happy. Now you can make me happy too. Click the subscribe button to follow my channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you think I did good. And the notification bell will let you know when I post new content. Also, follow my Instagram for more book shenanigans.